guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming my part two to my vib sephora sale and ulta haul plus some other makeup i've been buying so if you want to see then just keep watching i got my sephora order in but not my um ulta that comes in two days this is two different orders but one only had one item another one had two. First thing i got is the marc jacobs omega bronze coconut perfect tan bronzer i got the shade 104 tantastic so i can i've been hearing people rave about this bronzer for years and i never wanted to buy it because it's 50 dollars. <laughs> but i had a discount so i was like you know what let me buy it now <laughs> um this is the first time i've ever participated in the sale because i don't really buy makeup from sephora that much anymore but this is what it looks like and this is bigger than my base. Um, so I'll swatch it for you guys. I'm so excited to have this. Hopefully it looks good on my skin. So looks like that. I know it's probably not a good swatch, but it's pretty light. So we'll see. I look pretty bronze right now because I tried out something today and I think I like it. I don't know. But I've been on a bronzer kick. So I got that. And then the two samples that I got with that was the Verb Rest Shampoo, Conditioner, and Setting. Sealing Mist, not Setting Spray. But it comes in like packets. I really like trying shampoos. So that is that. I got a sample of the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. It looks like that. So I've never tried any products from them, so I'm super excited to try that. And then in my second order, um, they also sent me two samples. Got the Beauty Blender um, Pore Minimizing Primer. I love primer. Love trying new primers. So I got that. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Finish um, Youth Glow. And it comes with a good amount of samples, so I'm super excited to try that. I've never tried anything from them either, so I wanted to give them a try. But then, in this order, I got two more of my Fenty blushes. The Cream Cheeks Out blush. I got Rose Latte 10, which is, I think, the darkest shade. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys. Looks like this. I, ha I got Strawberry Dip and Summertime Wine in my first part, and I swatched them. So if you want to see that, I will link it down below. But here's this one. Looks super dark, but we'll give it a little swatchy swatch. Super pretty. I'm excited to try these. I tried strawberry dip yesterday, and you guys, it is so beautiful on the skin and it lasts quite a long time. So I'm excited to have two other ones. This one is the shade Cool Berry 09. And I don't want to get any more blushes because I have so many cream ones. Oh, I didn't show you. Um, it kind of looks similar to Rose Latte. Um, but we'll give it a little swatchy swatch. That is what that one looks like. It is a very plum purpley berry color. So you can barely see the bronzer, but I'm excited to have those. That is all for that. So here is the rest of my Sephora order. Um, I just purchased some stuff from The Ordinary. I've been on a kick with trying their products. So the first thing I got is this, and basically it is a vitamin C. Um, if it'll focus, but that's that. And then I got the lactic acid. I also got the marine hyaluronics, which is another one of their lightweight moisturizer serums. And then I also got another vitamin C in silicone and that is that and i really wanted to get a retinol but they were sold out and then what else did i want to get um another one of my niacinamide i think is what it's called they have a bigger size and i really want that for a backup i made a pretty good dent in the one i got um a few weeks ago and i love it i use it every single morning and night so those are those. And then for my freebies, um, I got a free IGK dry shampoo. I have the full size that I got at my BoxyCharm and I love it. So I got this mini and that's perfect for my purse. And then these are the two free samples. I got this perfume and then this primer for Guerlain. So 
yeah that is my support order so i got something from kosas and i think that's how you say it it came in this very vibrant package um so they sent me a sample of the tinted face oil it comes with three shades but that is the shade range um and then this was sold out on sephora so that's why i ordered it from kosas but this is the the sun show moisturizing baked bronzer and i have not seen the package look like this or maybe i'm just blind in other people's packaging looks like this but that's just really cool looking I don't know i think they up upgraded the package but whatever um i got the shade medium which i was debating on to get light or medium it's really hard for me to pick out bronzers and like foundation stuff online but i didn't want to go inside sephora even though the balls opened i don't want to go <laughs> so this is the shade i am wearing it right now I used a big fluffy brush and i just tapped it in there once and i placed it a lot of people say it's patchy and to be honest it was a little patchy but i kept blending at it and then i think it looks all right but it's very smooth and i'll switch it right here that is a swatch of that oh and then i kind of blended the blushes out so you can see better but that is the bronzer down here it's like kind of orangey it's very dark compared to this one this will probably be my good perfect summer bronzer because i don't have any bronzers this dark um but i didn't want to get light even though i am light um because i already have so many light bronzers like this one but hopefully it works out for me but yeah i'm super excited to try that out sunscreen from walmart this is the tinted sunscreen from elta md skincare and it's broad spectrum spf 44 has hyaluronic acid and all this good stuff you can read the packaging if you want um i never wear sunscreen but i need to start wearing sunscreen because the products i use from the ordinary you have to use sunscreen um so i picked up this one because it's tinted it comes with a pump which is awesome this was a little pricey normally I don't buy sunscreen this expensive but it was $30 um but if you get it from Amazon it's like $35 so it's cheaper on Walmart so definitely try it out I'm going to try it out for a few weeks and tell you my thoughts I just hate the way sunscreen smells so hopefully this doesn't smell like sunscreen so my package from Fenty and Ulta came in so I'm going to show you guys the rest of the products so I'll start off with Ulta got a eyeshadow palette from Kylie Cosmetics this is the bronze palette I've never had anything from Kylie Cosmetics so super excited to get this um these are on sale for $19 her palettes that look like this so i was like this is my chance <laughs> so i picked up this really pretty palette one's a little dusty i don't know why but so it's arthy shades and i really love like bronze warm looks so i thought this palette would be perfect for me next up i got a few foundations so the first one that i got was the catrice hd liquid cover foundation i got the shade 32 nude beige looks like this and they only had a few shades left because I guess this is really good. So I'm excited to try this out. So I picked up that and this was on sale for like seven or eight bucks. Then I picked up three of these Revlon Candid Photo Ready Foundations and it says Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. I picked up three shades because I cannot, I don't know which shade I am and a lot of the shades were on sale. So I think they still are on sale if you want to check them out. Um, but... So these are the three shades that I got. I got 360 Cashew and that is the shade and it comes with a little pump. I also got 230 Bare and then I also picked up 420 Sun Beige and this one's a little dark but I think for the summertime this would be really good for me because I don't have any like darker foundations. Um, so i'm excited to play with these then the next thing that i got um is the tree hut marshmallow lodge sugar scrub i really like these so i picked up a backup um and yeah moving on to my fenty package 
um, I picked up three products. If you spend $25 or $30 online, you got a Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo for $5. So I got it and this is the shade that they were offering. This is Ginger Binge and Mascal Mule. Pascal Mule. So those are the shades. And I have two of these already, but I don't have this color. So I thought I would get it. So it looks like this. And if I don't like these, I don't think I would like them as highlighters because I'm, I don't know, I don't know how it would look. But I think it would be really pretty as eyeshadows. So I'm excited to try these. Yeah, those would be really pretty for eyeshadows. So I'm excited to have this in my collection and sorry my hands are dry like always. Next up, I really wanted to get um, the correct shade of bronzer, Shady Biz, but that didn't even show up on my skin. So I got Private Island and Island Things. So I got two of them because I don't know. I can't tell which shade I am. So hopefully one of these works out for me. I really love the packaging. This is Private Island. I think this is going to be a good shade for me. I think that one is going to look good on my skin. Um, but I will also swatch this one. This is Island Thing. It's the color. That almost doesn't look too dark. It kind of is similar to that. That one's like a little more like brick red. And that one's more cool toned. So yeah, I think either of those shades would be really pretty on my skin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down video requests you have for me below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.